I'm going to be reviewing a fragrance for the chaps. It's going to be the Pure Excess by Night Eau de Parfum from Paco Rabanne. Hi and welcome back to my channel, Ellie Smells. And like I say, today I'm going to be reviewing the latest fragrance from Paco Rabanne, which is the Pure Excess by Night for him, which is an Eau de Parfum. So don't forget throughout the video to like and subscribe and ring the bell. But what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to compare it with the original Pure Excess for him, which was an Eau de Toilette, and this was released in 2017. So I'm just going to spray this one and just let it dry down for a little while. So that's that one. So the Pure Excess by Night, this one was created and uh, was on shelves, I think, March 2019. And the noses behind this, or the fragrance creators, were Caroline Demure, Anna Filippo, and Bruno Jovanic. And I hope I've got the names correctly. So pronounced. Anyway, this one is an oriental spicy. So you'll see from the bottle it's a, the same shape as the original but it's a more intense deeper blue and it graduates from this like really deep azure blue into like black. But what I like about this one is the fact that the cap actually comes off. On the Pure Excess Eau de Toilette don't know it's got like a flip top but I know that these have been broken it's not the easiest thing to try and spray around so automatically liking this bottle more it's just so much easier but it's the same shape very chunky very heavy very masculine so I'm going to spray this and automatically like I say from the bottle you know it's going to be deeper more intense and it is wow it really is like punching an impact it's got these like really exotic fiery notes and in the top you've got ginger and ginseng and when you compare it to the original there are a lot of the sort of similar essences because there's that thread so there's ginger in the original as well and then onto the heart you've got vanilla cacao and cinnamon and whenever I say cacao I always feel like a bird like cacao cacao stop laughing Tim but it does whenever I, whenever I say that so they're like really rich deep and then you've got that soft sort of like almost sexy vanilla essence to there as well with the spiciness of the cinnamon but so far it is really um, warm deep and it's just exudes as you don't need I don't think you're going to need much of this on at all and then as you get to the base you've got myrrh and caramel and that caramel makes it quite rich and tempting delicious so in the original you had sugar instead of like the caramel and you had more aromatics in there and more fruits so this one um, the pure excess by night is definitely a richer, more mysterious, sort of like more manly, more intense. So you're not going to need as much as this on. So that's that one. So I'm going to go back now and try the original. And it is, it's, it's so much lighter and fresher. You do get some of those aromatic notes because I know in here you've got things like thyme, you've got bergamot, which keeps it light and uplifting. So, I think I actually prefer the By Night, but then that's because I do tend to like those caramelly, vanilla, warm essences, and I know that they sit really, really well on Tim's skin. And I think it's worth a try. I don't know if Tim's had a chance to try these yet, have you? No. So Tim's not tried these, but I know he'll probably be doing a review on them himself about what he likes to wear. I think the Pure Excess Eau de Toilette is going to be, if you don't want anything that's too intense, you just want something that's going to spray, be sort of fresh maybe for the office. But I think for those warm, hot summer nights, mm, I think that the Pure Excess by Night is definitely going to be a more sort of like longer lasting like I say it's an eau de parfum anyway so it's got more of those um fragrance essence in there so it's going to last probably a good six hours plus whereas the eau de toilette will be maybe three to four hours 
depending obviously on your skin type some sit better sit longer um but yeah i think this one's really nice and i think that for anybody that maybe likes the fragrances such as the um chanel bleu maybe the bleu parfum you know with those really intense rich warm sultry type essences also the dior homme and um essences such as even like the prada la homme which has got some of those like aromatics like myrrh type essences to them this would be a really nice one but i can see tim is going to be wearing this a lot during the summer so really it's horses for courses i think for the gentleman that likes something that's fresh then maybe go and try the eau de toilette but for somebody that wants something that's going to be more impact, more fiery, more sort of exotic, I think then maybe go for the um, By Night, which is the Parfum, because it's definitely going to be one that's going to be longer lasting. It's going to project more on your skin. It's just going to be really, really warm. And I'm sure people are going to ask you what you're wearing. So go and try it. Let me know as well, because it's always interesting for me, because... Like I say, I can give my opinions on fragrance, but it's generally down to the wearer on how these smell on your skin. And I think these will be fabulous, especially sort of with Father's Day in June. I think these are going to be really nice ones to wear or to buy. So let me know and leave your comment. But that's it for now on Ellie Smells, and I'll see you again soon. And watch out, because Tim will be doing a probably deeper and more in-depth review on these, on how they sit on his skin. Anyway, take care for now and I'll see you in a short night.